Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dan and this is Plant Abundance on YouTube. Today we're going to be discussing maintenance pruning on your citrus trees. We're here in the middle of summer and this is not generally a time that I'm going to be doing much pruning on my trees. I want to get that done usually early spring, whether it's citrus or some of the other varieties I have growing. But it's good to do a bit of maintenance pruning in the summer. You just don't want to do it as hard. You don't want to open the canopy up too much or else you can get sun scald on some of the scaffold branches and such. But I want to show you this Valencia tree. It's producing some really beautiful oranges. We got a nice harvest off of this tree last year. Looking forward to another good harvest. This is a great juicing orange, by the way. So as we step back and we take an overall look at this younger citrus tree growing here, you'll see that we have a nice consistency uh, foliage growing throughout the tree but as soon as we get over to this area here these two branches don't look like the others now these are growing right off one of the main branches on the tree and they're very vigorous they're vigorous growers if I let it continue to grow they'll end up shooting straight up like this branch over here this is another example again the leaves on this branch are very large the growth habit of this branch is vertical, it's shooting straight up. And oftentimes you'll also see signs of disease or pest damage on these leaves as well. Now these are known as water shoots or water sprouts. And you'll see these growing a lot of times towards the bottom of the tree below the graft or off of one of the main branches like you see here. These are all growing off main branches here. Now it's best to remove these branches sooner than later so that the tree is not focusing its energy into growing these water sprouts. Also, by cutting them before they get too large, too thick, you're going to reduce the wound size where you make your cut. So all you need is a good pair of pruners. We're going to get down in there and we're going to make our cut as close to the main branch as we can. And we've got some more water shoots coming up over here. So again, we'll follow that branch all the way down to where it connects to this main branch. And we'll come over here and we'll do the same thing. And just like that, in about a minute, we've removed all the water sprouts. Now the tree is looking nice and healthy once again. That's all there is to it. That's all the summer maintenance pruning you need to do on your citrus trees. If you want to take a look at another video that I produced on the subject, I did a bit of a longer version. I'll drop a link below this video so you can go check that out. By the way, what I'm wearing today is known as a Sunday sun hat. This is not a sponsored promotion. I just wanted to share it with you guys. It's a really great addition to your gardening clothing supply. As you can see, it's protecting my neck, my ears, my face from the sun. So I can get out here on a hot sunny day and not worry about getting sunburnt and causing damage to my skin. So just a friendly reminder to stay protected while you're out working in your garden, especially out in the sun with some sun protective gear, um, some good gardening gloves if you're gonna be rooting around in the soil. Also some overalls are really good at protecting not just your skin, but your clothes underneath. So these are all good things to have in your gardening closet. So with that, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon. Come on. Now it's best to remove these branches sooner than later so that the tree is not focusing its energy into growing these water sprouts. Also, by cutting them before they get too large, too thick, you're going to reduce the wound size where you make your cut. So that's it. Really quick and easy summer maintenance pruning for your citrus trees. If you want to see a longer version where I do a little bit more explaining on the water sprouts and water shoots, I'll drop a link to a video that I produced earlier this year below this video so you can check that out. 